Hi guys, I'm Shmi. Hello and welcome back to the channel where it's finally time to reveal this. We're here at the Museum where in recent weeks my Ford GT has been living undercover and I've been super mysterious about this, but you're about to have your mind blown. It's such an iconic Schmiemobile. In fact, it's an iconic supercar. I've owned this car now for around four and a half years. In that time, there have been so many journeys, adventures and memories, but this is something totally unique. And in fact, the car being positioned right here on the racetrack, surrounded by the easels with art pieces, gives you a bit of an idea as to what you're about to see. My GT has become an art car. This is a collaboration with Wycliffe Galleries, along with the artist Louette, famed for his pop art, to create something that brings together so many different things that I love into a car along with this style that you're going to see in just a moment. It's not only about that though, the pieces on the easels behind are also going to be auctioned with Bonhams later in the year to raise funds for the charity Calm, the campaign against living miserably that supports mental health. This is something that you've never seen before. This is something that's going to be pretty wild. So let's do it. We're going to be joined shortly by Kieran Louette to go through it all. Let's reveal the Ford GT Schmiemobile. Before I get this cover removed, I've just got to say that when the GT is cloaked in something like this, it looks immense. It's instantly recognizable, incredibly long, incredibly wide, very low, but you've got that distinct nose line. You've got the low roof. You've got the wing at the back, these floating buttresses over the rear wheels. It's a car that is, and I'm sorry this becomes quite cliched in this video, iconic, linking back to the history of the Ford GT. And that's something that you're going to start to see a lot of in just a moment. But even in this garage, we have color on all of the different cars. I have collections of all sorts of different things. We've got a Pac-Man machine, more arcade machines. We've got so many things that link to what this project is all about. And we're going to be going through these in detail in just a moment. But to show you ever so slightly a little bit of this, for example, this piece is called In Pieces. You've got the rear clam of the car. You've got the front nose section as as well. You've got some cues linking towards the car itself. But remember, this is painted in red with the gold stripes. In fact, at the factory, when it was being assembled, they nicknamed it the Iron Man car. And there's a nice nod to that coming up in just a moment. This is called a side of me. The other half is called another side of me. But this is a project which when the guys from Wycliffe Galleries suggested it and Louette came with these ideas, it was like, yeah, we've got to do this. We've got to give it a go. The car is going to be at the Goodwood Festival of Speed. In fact, it will be at the Bonhams tent on Thursday and Friday. And over the weekend, it will be around the supercar paddock. But prepare yourselves to see this in just a moment. Kieran is about to be here, but let me give you a quick sneak peek. <laughs> that speed racer, by the way, worn on the nose of the GT. Right, let's get it fully opened up. We're joined then by Louette. Hello, how's it going? So. We're here today at the Schmuseum. Um, we're getting eyes on the Hyperpop project, which involves uh, a number of original artworks that have then informed um, skin on a, on a very special car. Um, it's a cool yeah. story. It's a cool story. Um, it's a cool process. It's just cool everything, really. Um, we're we're so. going to rewind back a little bit and explain the process behind it, how yeah. you actually got to this point as well. Okay. But underneath this cover, is a very surprising look to a Ford GT. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. not normal. It's not normal. It's a studio-based approach to this kind of thing. Um, I think it looks really unique. Um, so yeah. Should we do it? Should we press Let's the button? Let's do it, yeah. Let us reveal, with the air shroud, the new look to my Ford GT Hyperpop by Louette. <laughs> look at this. <laughs> this is absolutely crazy. This is insane. Yeah, sorry, I was just so fixated. And I was like, whoa. Yeah, it's amazing, right? It's the ultimate canvas for an artist to get let loose on. Um, but yeah, it's, it's such an exciting project. There's so many different elements to it. It's a sculpture, it's a piece of pop art. It's, um, you know, it's a fierce driving machine. Um, you know, I know this means, I know how important the 4GT is to yourself, Tim, as well. So, you know, it's a... Uh, it's a culmination of so much. And we're gonna go to your actual original art pieces because those have really informed the canvases of the bodywork of yeah. the car. 
But just off the top of my head, looking around this, you know, we've got the Pac-Man here. We've yeah. got uh, just all sorts of icons. There is so many retro, iconic pop art sensibilities across this car. Um, <laughs> you know. Mario Kart, yeah. Superman. I can spend forever looking at it. Of course, we've already been looking around the car. I've spent a little bit of time taking in all of these different things. And it brings together so many things that I'm fascinated by, enjoyed so much maybe when I was younger or still do, just things that bring about passion, yeah. bring about inspiration, excitement. There are, I, there are so many different words you could use. I mean, here we've got the, the Pikachus dancing through the Rolos logo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is it. I mean, um, it's all the things that you sort of grown up around as well. I'm an 80s kid, 90s kid, um, you know, it's all these kind of like brand recognition, you know, with Rolo and, and all these different kind of um, slogans. But obviously we've tried to stitch this in and, and work it in our own kind of Louet way. Um, Even insert coin, arcade machines. This get is it. coins inserted, get this played. It. It's all these kind of little um, elements, you know, that, uh, that I've, I've drawn on to, to work into it. It's, um, you know, arcade, that retro, um, retro nostalgia. Yes. Um, you know, all the hours spent in the arcade. But um, these are the things that I've grown up around, you know, and these are the kind of visuals that are stuck in my head. Um, you know, from obviously getting to know you, Tim, a little bit more, you know, there's a commonality there as well. So it's cool. Absolutely. So rewinding back, yep. this is where you began with this. Yeah. Creating yeah. The, the shapes, the, the pieces, of yeah. the canvases. That's right. Yeah. So Obviously, we got eyes on some of the blueprints, um, started looking at some of the panels, and we've worked this into like a 3D relief um, in which we've deployed these visuals, um, and we've, we've used it as a canvas, essentially, and I've been sort of focusing on the different, um, different panels and different shapes. Um, so, yeah, these were like, I guess, study pieces to mm -hmm. begin with. We were just, you know, hitting it with um, these kind of visuals and, and working in the, uh, the imagery. Um, and then this, these works then inform uh, the actual skin and the wrap as well. We get a bit of an idea from some of the shapes and um, panels, basically, to, to work over. How oh, it's going to go onto the car, because this, yeah. this is, I mean, a seriously impressive piece, right? Thank this you. Is, amazing yeah. to, to look at like this yeah. having kind of just gone in reverse seeing yeah. the car obviously you've got the the roof of the car you've got those flying buttresses you've yeah. got the wing you've got this whole section mm. but you've kept in colors you've kept it yeah even yeah. with the frame and stuff you know we wanted to play uh homage to you know the original paintwork that you you know your custom paintwork that you had on the um on the gt as well so i wanted to incorporate that into into this original piece as well um so yeah you know here, 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 you know, just sort of as a, as a running kind of theme through it. Um, yeah, it's, it's taken on its own form, you know, obviously, like I said, we were looking at some of the blueprints and then that's created this kind of, you know, these kind of, I've picked out what I thought was quite interesting areas, but also areas that were necessary for this as well. So, yeah. and this is what we've come up with. Um, but yeah, it looks great. I think it, I'm particularly pleased with this. Um, <laughs> sure. It, yeah. Do you know what? When this idea was suggested, yeah. when you guys and Wycliffe Galleries, of course, approached with the idea of doing this, I was really excited by it. Immediately wanted <laughs> yeah, to get yeah. on board with doing it with you guys, but had no idea what the direction would be mm. uh, and, and how this would actually translate to the car. Yeah. And when we walk around it, mm. one of the things that stands out to me is how much you can look again and see something else. Mm the different things you've brought into it. There are those instantly recognizable things. Yeah. You know, as, as we look around, you've got Wonder Woman, you've yeah. got Toad, you've got yeah. Pink Panther, you've yeah. got a familiar donut yeah. from The Simpsons. Yeah. Yeah. There are so many of those types. SpongeBob, obviously Speed Racer, mm. but it's bringing all of those together I guess building it up, creating yeah. the, the piece. Yeah, because sort of just placing these images around is one thing, but it actually takes, um, you know, there's a good sort of decade or so of, you know, um, learning the, my own practice in terms of layering, uh, stenciling, um, you, know, you know, even like little paintbrush marks, mm -hmm. half-tone images that are done with uh, various stencils, sandwiching text in between other text, you know, it's, it's very much kind of stitching everything together um, where, it's, where it kind of looks chaotic, but actually it is refined. 
as yeah. well. You know, there's, there's work involved with it. You know, there's, there's depth and there's layers. And what I was particularly excited about with this project is, again, that studio-led approach rather than that sort of graphical approach, I suppose. Mm -hmm. So. I'm, I'm familiar with working on canvases, um, paints, acrylics, aerosols, um, unusual types of kind of wood panels and things like that. Yep. So I was interested to see how that would then translate onto, onto the car, basically. So you can see all those elements. So you're not, you're not just looking at the, the visuals and the references. You're actually getting up close and you're seeing all these kind of brush marks and these, and these paint marks and mm -hmm. where we've hit acetone in certain areas and let it bleed out slightly. So, yep. so there's a lot involved it's, um, to, to kind of get to this point. And it's vibrant. It's bright. Yep. This is, of course, a vinyl wrap. It's been wrapped on the car by Dub Customs, who have done numerous of my cars before. But I've never done something like this. I'd never previously done e any kind of print or design. Yep. But to know that this was literally your artwork that's yeah. now gone exclusively onto this and yeah. something to point out of course is that different canvas thing mm. having the doors almost as a break point between yeah. the the front and the rear yeah and that's um just through experience as well and just when i'm playing with color and composition uh knowing um where to deploy certain things as as he said as a breaker point as well um not dissimilar when i'm doing these kind of relief wall sculptures in, in my practice i usually have Panel, panelled off areas and sections which I'm, I'm used to looking at and thinking okay we're going to add some geometric here or we're going to add you know uh, a different aspect here mm -hmm. for the pure contrast um, so it was something that I was quite familiar with um, in terms of using these different kind of geometric yeah, areas is, against yeah I love this kind of thing I mean I'm a maths guy analytics guy numbers guy yeah. this this is I can spend ages looking at something yeah. like that but yeah. you've also gone beyond it's things like this if I had asked people what they wanted they would have said faster horses yeah those who know know that's Henry Ford yeah yeah so these little references make their way through the car you know we spoke about using some of the original uh colorations yeah um but yeah, these little references that have nods towards the car's history and to Ford um, as well. So I love Popeye looking out the back here. Yeah, Literally yeah. the way, because yeah. what people do when they see the GT, one of the first things they go for is they try and look through this buttress. Yeah, this, this area inside. made me super nervous when I came to look <laughs> at the car to begin with. I was like, okay, how are we gonna, you know, but- you've got inverted upside down yeah, canvases yeah. and you've got all sorts of things yeah. to work with. I'm used to sort of, you know, flattish kind yeah. of canvases. So, but- And then on, this side, completely yep. different approach. Yep. This is more your signature. Yeah, so these are some of our motif um, silhouette designs. This is another aspect of um, some of the styles from the studio. Um, seriously collectible, um, but a big part of our studio practice since day dot. Um, so, you know, we wanted to include this as well um, as part of the, the studio and, and what we do. Obviously this busy, chaotic pop collage uh, aspect um, is, is one part of the studio. It's more cleaner, kind of silhouetted, or the geometric yeah. is another, you know, the two, two opposites, really. But and that continues with the main piece on the front, I suppose. Yeah, Angel Cake. Um, this is kind of like our figurehead kind of silhouette. It's what people know us for. Um, I've done this in thousands of different guises, um, collected all around the world. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of what people know us for. I've actually got it tattooed on my arm. <laughs> but... Um, <laughs> So yeah, I kind of used that again as a breaker point, but I just thought, you know, just to showcase. It's a run. funny mix. Yeah. Like you have a lot of, you know, cartoons, animations, mm. anime characters, and then you have the girl holding the <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's theater um, and it's contrast. You know, contrast plays a massive part in what I do, whether it's, you know, contrasting colors, contrasting references, contrasting materials. Um, so, you know, Dainty angel cake with guns is another, <laughs> another contrast. But, um, Do you have a favorite element of the car yourself? Um, I have a, a few, yeah. yeah. Of, um, I really like looking at the car from the back end, um, mm -hmm. just because of all the different sort of angles and, you know, it's so complex. Um, you know, aesthetically, when I'm, when I'm looking at that, it's, yeah, that kind of <laughs> really makes me smile. Um, it's so bonkers. <laughs> it is, it really is. I think that when, a, when it gets as complex as you said, like, yeah. like this, you need time to take it in. If you yeah. see this car driving past you, yeah. you're not gonna take in every detail on it. No, you're not gonna, gonna have gonna a full be, understanding uh, of what you're looking at. What was that kind of moment? It will literally um, be a what was that kind of moment. Even yeah. perhaps a what was that car 
kind of moment <laughs> yeah. because you're so distracted yeah. by everything. Yeah. And I should probably challenge you on literally every single <laughs> character that yeah. we see in here because I, yeah. I don't know everything, yeah. but yeah. like yeah. all of the different things. No, I mean, um, it is a netting, a netting of pop references, you know, going back 40, 50 current, you know, years to the current day. Um, you know, there's, there's all sorts of kind of imagery that make their way into our work. Um, stuff that I've grown up with and familiar with and have made up a lot of my childhood experiences and, you know, um, in current day stuff, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's pop art, it's popular culture. So, yeah. It's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. I mean, this on the car, obviously people can see this car at Goodwood Festival of Speed, see yeah. what the work looks like. The pieces around will be auctioned with Bonhams later in the year. That's correct, yeah. So, um, yeah, so the idea is <clears throat> we're going to have this, like you said, showcased at the Goodwood Festival of Speed. Um, that's going to get some attention, I would imagine. <laughs> um, but yeah, later on in the year, the artworks um, are then going to be auctioned off um, at, uh, at Bonhams, um, Pop X Culture Sale, um, yeah, for, um, for Calm. So. It's pretty, pretty cool as well that uh, some of the proceeds will also be supporting Calm. Yes, yeah. That whole, I, I think it connects and is so relevant right now as well. Um, yeah, for sure. I mean, the idea is to, you know, get people talking, focus on, you know, um, people's well-being, um, hopefully, you know, energize and uplift and inspire yeah. as well. Um, so people can go to the Goodwood Festival of Speed and see this and kind of, you know, walk away feeling, feeling a little bit more energized, I suppose, and a bit more creative and inspired. I absolutely love it. I'll also pop yep. a link down below if people would like to find out more about Calm also. Amazing. I think they're doing big things, obviously, yeah, supporting very... this world, very relevant to the social media world. Yes. But certainly things like this. I mean, <laughs> just, I'm just spotting things yeah. like the Sonic here, but even the way it's pixelated, like intentionally pixelated yeah. to hark back to that time. Yeah. yeah. And it's, uh, it's all these different kind of um, uh, approaches as well. I mean, this is this is pixelated, but then we've we've put kind of like a half tone spray in between it, and you know, it, there's, <laughs> it's it's not just one thing. It's a it's a layered kind of approach. Um, oh, it's absolutely awesome! Like it's it's yeah. crazy, yeah. it's bonkers. Yeah, I personally can't quite believe that we, <laughs> yeah. we've done this. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, you know, it's uh, like I said. I, I think there's um, a mutual appreciation for for what it could have been. You know, so. Um, you're happy with it? I'm very yeah, happy. Okay, cool. That's I've got good. to say thank you. Yeah, no, I would like, say thank you as well. You know, <laughs> it's so good. You know, to let us loose on your, uh, your pride and joy as well is, um, you know, amazing. Come in closer to look at this. I mean, starting on the very front, Facebook thumbs up and add friend. What a sign of an era. In here, Dumbo, we've got a quote next to that. There's even Happy Shopper just tucked in on the underside there. Come around towards the side, what do we have? Super Mario, look, Mickey. Mickey's just lurking here. It's this layering effect that I'm sure is very hard to create into the result we're looking at. But there are so many different characters. Look, I love this. <laughs> the Pac-Man monster in a suit, Captain America, just all of these different things that I think when you're standing next to this car, you can spend hours upon hours upon hours just looking at everything that's going on with it. All of the different details, all of the different touches, all of the different things that you know that are so popular in culture. That's the whole idea behind this. That's the theme, that's Louette's style. That's why this has been undertaken in the very first place. All of these different quotes and things as well. It's so wild and out there. This isn't something that I'd ever previously contemplated doing really. When Wyclef Galleries reached out and suggested the idea, it was like, yeah, why not? Why not try this? Why not do something a little bit different? Build another chapter with this car. Build another chapter with such a significant car to me. Now, obviously this isn't permanent. It's a wrap. It's something that can be removed later on, should we wish. However, it might well stay like this for a lot longer than we originally anticipated just because it's so different. And that's what I think creates discussion, creates conversation, helps support, of course, calm through the donations that will be raised with the auctioning of the artworks as well, with everything that this car is really about. And to do this pop art design on such, and I'm sorry to say it again, an iconic car, I think fits so well. As soon as the idea surfaced, it was like the GT is the perfect car for this. And that's why during recent events and things, it's been living here, covered up, waiting for this to begin. I'm just spotting Toy Story and different emojis. I could spend so long running through this. And there are some amazing nods like Iron Man on the top to keep the red and gold theme, to keep that tying through. So it's one of those things that I can't tell you everything about this in one. 
it's impossible to go through every single different detail, all of the different nooks and crannies. You know, the way that you look through the side arch and see Popeye here with his telescope, it's so cool like that. It's such a cool series of different things coming together that is me in a nutshell. And that's what's so wild about this. So different, so iconic. That's what it is. So that's why I wanted to kind of save this until we could really talk about it, until we could be jo joined by Louette to go through everything as well in detail and to know obviously more about it, to have the artwork pieces here themselves. And when you come and look at these more closely, you can see how they've gone from the canvas, the original shapes, introducing color, obviously the designs for the wheels, all the different elements around them as well, into bringing that design, which has then been transposed onto the car itself. And there's even more going on. It's so fun to see this different level because obviously this is on a, a smaller scale than the actual car, but then it blows up and you just bring out all of these colors, bring out all of these designs, bring out all of these characters. It's very different. It's very, very different. And I believe different is good. You know, different should be inspirational. It should be something that just really gives you an excited feeling, gives you a feeling that, you know, why not? That's cool. I think with this, <laughs> it's so fun. I just want to take it out and drive. But obviously at this point that we're filming this, we've not obviously shown it yet. So we need to be a little bit secretive until we're ready to reveal all to you guys and then get it down to the Goodwood Festival of Speeds. So if you'd like to see it on Thursday and Friday, it will be with Bonhams, of course, ahead of the auction later in the year. On Saturday and Sunday, come spot this around the supercar paddock, along with some of the other Schmiemobiles that are going to be down there as well. It's going to be quite exciting. For now, though, a big thanks to Wycliffe Galleries, a big thanks to Louette, a big thanks to Bonham, and a big thanks to Calm, because this is really very fun. And as always, a big thanks to you guys. Without you guys, none of it would be possible. I appreciate your support so much. Like I said, information for everything will be down below, including Calm, the charity which this is all supporting. That's it for now, though. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you again very soon. Cheers!